Kia ora koutou. It's lovely to connect with you all virtually today. I hope you enjoyed hearing from one of our Wellington law clerks, Georgia, before. And um, we're really excited to chat to you about Paro Finlay, what we're about, what our summer clerk program looks like, how to navigate your recruitment journey and provide you with some tips throughout this whole process. We understand um, the challenges and stresses this hectic March recruitment season can bring um, and also throwing in challenges from um, COVID and what that brings into all of this. Um, so yeah, we hope you find this wee virtual session valuable and can alleviate some of the stress you may be facing or be able to help with any questions you may have. So, um, ko Lily Toku Ingoa. I work in the people and culture team at Battle Finlay in our Auckland office. I am largely involved with our graduate recruitment process, and I am really excited to be here today to chat to you about Battle. I will hand over to you, Harry, to introduce yourself to. Great, thanks, Lily. Uh, kia ora, everybody. I'm Harry, also from our people and culture team. Um, I look after recruitment for the firm more broadly, but also involved with graduate recruitment and employer branding. Um, we know that you're spending your precious time uh, listening to us and applying for opportunities out there. So I really hope that the session with um, Georgia getting to meet our, our law clerk and then the session with us now um, is just helpful for you in terms of getting your legal career on track um, and provides a bit of insight into that. Um, so yeah, in, in terms of um, the session today, we'll be chatting about um, Buddle Findlay a little bit um, and how to navigate your way into the legal sector. Um, I'll kick off then just to chat a little bit about us. You might have already read up on us um, you know, online, but we're a national full service law firm that focuses on commercial and public law. And we've been running for about 125 years now. And so a career with us um, gives you the opportunity to work with a wide range of clients um, in internationally recognized teams alongside some of New Zealand's leading legal talent. Um, with the culture of mentoring and support that we offer, you'll be given the tools that you need to grow and um, you know, be successful in your career. Um, we believe we grow together and achieve exceptional outcomes with our clients when we work together. Um, in terms of what it means to be a commercial law firm, um, well, that actually refers to the type of work that we do and the clients that we work with. So we work for businesses and act for businesses and government um, institutions, as opposed to a um, general practice law firm, which would act for individuals, like if you wanted to buy a property or get a trust drawn up or something like that. Um, we specialize in corporate and commercial law in very niche areas, which allows us to provide very um, tailored advice um, on exceptionally intricate and complex um, commercial legal matters. And so as an example of some of the areas we focus on, that would be the likes of corporate and commercial law, um, banking and finance, um, commercial property, technology, media and telecommunications, litigation, intellectual property, um, resource management, public law, and we even have an Asia business team that specializes in providing service to our Asia clients. Um, so if you have any questions along the way, just pop them into the chat or ask at the end um, and there'll be time for, for us to answer those. Um, a little bit more about Buttle Findlay, and um, we work with a, a wide range of clients. Um, and that includes companies, startups, private entities, and regulatory bodies. And many of our teams are highly ranked as band one or tier one teams. Um, and that would feature in rankings such as the Legal 500 or Asia Law um, and Chambers and Partners. Um, we also regularly win the Client Choice Awards um, for being an outstanding professional services firm. Um, and so our clients hopefully really enjoy working with us and we enjoy working with them, of course. Um, our team at Buddle um, nationally is made up of 348 staff, which makes us the fifth largest law firm in New Zealand, but I promise we're all very friendly and down to earth. Um, no stuffiness over here. Um, we've got 219 uh, females and 128 males and 220 lawyers um, out of that staff complement. We have 47 partners and 30% of those are women. And since 2016, uh, more than two thirds of our partnership promotions have been women as well. And um, although we do have a diverse staff complement at Buddle, it's always something we are striving to improve on. But as of now, we've got more than 10 different national nationalities and ethnicities of staff working at Buddle Findlay. Generally, our recruitment goals um, for this year is to attract a diverse group of students through to our summer clock program. Um, many of our existing 
um, partners had previously summer clocked at the firm. And even if they left to go overseas, they would then return and have gone on to become partners. So it really is a key um, strategic recruitment initiative of ours. Um, we would also like to identify the best candidates through our campaign, Together We Grow. Um, and we use technology and innovation to enhance your application experience and also to get to know you a little bit better. And Lily will talk to a little bit of, of that application process later and how it all works. Um, and finally, one of our um, other recruitment goals is to increase our brand awareness and connection with you um, students out there that are looking at opportunities and assessing which firms you'd want to um, explore. Um, so that's it from me for now. And I'll just hand back over to Lily. Cool. Hey, Harry. Um, so when students join us for our summer cut program, they are employed with us for the summer at the end of their uni year. So students would commence employment with us from mid-November through to mid-February. Um, and then they return back to uni for their final year of study. Um, you will have the opportunity to rotate into two different teams while you're here to develop a broader understanding of corporate law. You'll gain real life experiences of working in a law firm and get involved with client-facing work. You'll learn alongside experts in the field and given all the tools to grow and succeed to hit the ground running when you return back to the firm as a law clerk. We understand that studying law and um, working in law is very different. So you'll get amongst lots of training sessions and have the support from others at the firm. You'll have a buddy and a supervisor as well as the rest of your team for support. On your first day, you'll commence an induction, which consists of a week-long training. We'll get you up to speed with the technology we use, um, introduce you to different areas of the law. You'll hear from a number of different people from around the firm. Uh, during the summer, you'll also take part in our Summer Clark Academy, which I will elaborate on later. But again, lots of training, support, and development opportunities. I encourage you to visit our website, which has more information on our summer clerk program. You'll also see what other perks you get when you work with us, um, like a three week paid holiday leave, um, $1,000 clothing allowance. When, and then when you return as a law clerk, your professional studies paid for um, amongst other things. Um, at Battle Finlay, we offer three promises to you, that being a place for you to grow, connect and be yourself. These promises are on our website, which I encourage you to check them out. But for those who haven't been able to read them, I will briefly explain. Our promise is to provide you with a collaborative and supportive environment that will develop and enrich you. You will get to enjoy building strong connections with our people, clients and community. And at Battle Finlay, you can be your true and authentic self. We are a firm who hold diverse perspectives and welcome everyone, whatever um, your walk of life. Great, uh, thanks very much for that, Lily. Um, yeah, finding the right fit for you is really important. Um, we've got a few tips on that um, and that's do your research get to know people and stay true to yourself. And some of the other firms have mentioned similar points and they really are important. Um, and you know, you're not just looking for a job, I guess, you're also looking for the right fit that allows you to really be yourself, which is crucial for you to develop and grow in your career. Um, and choosing the right job, let alone a career path might seem like a huge decision and quite daunting while at uni. Um, and it is important, of course, but at the same time, it's not the be all and end all if you're not 100% clear in your mind right now of where you want to land. Um, if you feel that you'd like to try out different things or different career paths within the law before sticking to something specific. And um, the truth is that many people have probably done the same where they've zigzagged um, and taken on different opportunities to land where they eventually wanted to land or they end up in a different place that they still feel is exciting and challenging and plays to their strengths. Um, and so, yeah, I think um, you don't need to specialize in something too early on if, if that's not what you want to do, but if it is, then you absolutely can do that. Um, there are a couple of different avenues that you could take um, in the legal um, 
sort of sector, um, and a couple of them um, would kind of look like this. And um, one would be a solicitor in in private practice going that route. You could also decide to go in house if that's something you wanted to do. Um, so go work at a private company or a government agency. You could become a legal analyst um, or a policy advisor. You could go work as a prosecutor um, and work at the courts if you wanted to, or even work for a crown law firm, um, which represents the crown. And there are firms that specialize in that um, in, in all of the areas in New Zealand. Um, you could even go into human resources if you wanted to, particularly those uh, larger um, institutions that have unionized environments um, or just really large workforces. Your skills would be really valued there. Um, and if you have a conjoint degree in accounting or tax or something, you could always follow that route and return to law later on. So there's many different avenues, and um, I encourage you to explore all of those and really feel what feels you know fits for you. Um, if you just aren't sure, that's totally okay. Um, you know, if you are applying for multiple things, then just articulate what about those opportunities really stand out and align for you. Um, but on to doing your research. One of our first tips, so reflect on the subjects at uni that interest you, and um, that'll give you insight into what your career aspirations might be. Um, talk to people in the profession that can share their journeys, and this will also provide you insight into what sort of steps you, you could take and what steps they've taken to get to where they're at. Um, it's not always easy to differentiate between different firms and different law firms and different um, institutions. So um, get a head start by doing some of this research, look online and speak to people. It'll really put your, um, put your mind at ease on, on where you go from there. Um, find out what is different about each of these firms and organizations and reflect on this to see if that really aligns with your values. Um, that would be quite useful. Um, if you are interested in applying at Buttle Findlay or another um, commercial law firm, then you could always, in your cover letter, talk to what has sparked your interest in that area. Or if you're not sure but are just interested and you'd like to ask questions, then have those questions ready for um, if you're having a conversation with somebody down the line. Um, and I guess just remain open-minded along the way as you never know who you could meet and what you could stumble upon that could put you on the, the next path. Our second tip is to get to know people. And as the saying goes, people do business with people. And this is particularly in true with law. Well, it's true, sorry, in the legal sector where you are often dealing with people or acting on behalf of people and helping people, of course. Um, so during the early part of your journey, I recommend that you take opportunities to meet people at these organizations that you're exploring opportunities at um, speak to them to get a feel for the organization and learn a bit about their culture. Um, and there's many ways that you can do that through events like this or events at uni and open days and the like. Um, once you have made those connections, a good recommendation is to stay in touch with them. Um, don't let that relationship slip away. You know, pop them a LinkedIn invite. If you aren't on LinkedIn, then I recommend getting on there. There's some good um, networking opportunities there. Or, you know, pick up the phone and just touch base with them every so often, just so that you stay top of mind and you keep that connection going. That's really important. Um, what is also important is just to be yourself and authentic through this, the, the sort of networking process where you're getting to meet different people. Um, in terms of getting to know us, um, you can attend events like this. Um, our open day is just passed, but next time around, we, we'll be having another one later on in the year. So please attend the open day and get a feel for us and how offices look and how they feel. Um, create connections with the people you meet all along the way. Um, and if you do end up meeting with, um, with us, then mention who you might know from Buttle Findlay or, or who you've connected with in those conversations. Um, if you have any questions or would like to know more about us at any point, then reach out to one of us in the people and culture team or anybody else you think would um, be able to answer any questions you have. And staying true to yourself, which is our, our third point. And um, we can't stress this enough. We really want to get to know you. Um, you don't have a set path that you, you need to take. This is your journey. Um, and so by reflecting on your values and doing the research and getting to know people and staying true to yourself, that'll put you on, on the right path. Um, we don't need you to kind of beef up anything in your CV or add anything to your cover letter that doesn't feel natural for you um, and, it, and it doesn't interest you. We really want to get to know you and your story. Um, and so, you know, considering the culture of the firms you're applying at, um, you're able to then tailor your, your cover letter to, to kind of reflect those things that are natural and dear to you. 
Um, what we could also recommend is to focus your energy on applying to those firms that do align to you. I know you might feel tempted to apply to you know, everything and um, we get that, but at the same time, really put your energy into the ones that strike an interest in you and align with your personal values um, and your authentic self. Um, in terms of the application process, um, generally that includes your CV and cover letter. Um, and what we feel is important to add is something that makes you unique which will a lot of the time be your story and your experiences. So um, you don't need to over-engineer that or over-complicate that, but do include things that you do outside of uni, um, which will be really good for, for us to get an insight in terms of what your life experiences are and how you've gotten to this point. Um, believe in yourself and back yourself. Um, no one is perfect and everybody starts somewhere. Um, and yeah, we'd be excited to, um, to see your application, of course. Um, but that's it for from me, from uh, staying true to yourself. And I'll hand back over to Lily. Oh, sorry, I actually have one more slide. Awesome. Uh, finger <laughs> error, um, apply is what I wanna plug in the slide. <laughs> Get to know us by sending through your application, um, chatting to us obviously after this, um, after this presentation, attend our open days, and you can also take one of our quizzes online. Um, when you do apply, you will be directed to our system, which basically has um, a value-based quiz um, and an open-ended quiz as well, which you'll then be able to give us insight into who you are, how you think, and how you operate. Um, and we'll then be able to kind of assess your application in a very well-rounded um, way and not only just looking at, you know, grades and that kind of thing. And although grades are obviously important um, and you'd want good grades, um, that's not how, how we are going to be evaluating your application. We really want to get to know you um, and look at your entire application. Um, in terms of the interview process, if you do get to that, um, a couple of tips we have on that is to prepare by doing research on who you'll be meeting. Um, Anne-Marie mentioned that you should get the name of the person you're applying to you know, correctly and their title, but equally in an interview, it's good to know who you're meeting with, um, what their title is, and a bit about their background, maybe checking them out online or on LinkedIn. Um, and so that you feel prepared for that. Um, another tip for the interview is to really know your CV well. Um, I can't tell you how many candidates I've seen that can't speak to the points on their CV. Um, and you should really kind of know what they're about and what your thinking was when putting down, you know, the different points on your CV um, and construct that in a tone that is very similar to how you would um, be in an interview or in a conversation. So your writing should kind of match that as well. Um, another interview tip would be, mastering the question, tell us about yourself. Um, that's where you get an opportunity, you know, two or three minutes to really kind of sell who you are and what you're about and what your story was. Um, and you could just be really authentic and true to yourself in answering that. Um, you can touch on points like the school you went to and any extracurriculars that you were involved in, um, your academic interests, things that you like and don't like and what career you think you want to pursue. Um, and if you're not sure, then any sort of questions or anything you'd like to gain out of the interview process, you can mention in that answer as well. Um, and yeah, what is important to us around the interview and your application, um, as I've already mentioned, um, we wanna get to know the real you um, and people that we really like um, to meet with is those that are collaborative and authentic, highly motivated and curious and innovative. And so in your application, take the time to show these kinds of values and how they've presented in your past experiences. Um, that is my tips um, in terms of the interview and the application and getting to know us. And now I can hand over to Lily to take you through our summer clock program. Awesome, fabulous, thank you, Harry. Um, so our applications are open. They close in less than a week on Tuesday, the 29th of March next week. So yeah, get in there and apply if you haven't already. Um, once you've applied, we'll review your application. We'll invite you for an interview if we think you are a right match and then we'll make you an offer. Um, as Harry mentioned before, we hosted a virtual open day last Friday and we'll be doing another one later in the year, which the date is yet to be confirmed. Hopefully this one will be in person in our three offices where you can join the one closest to you. Um, here you'll have the opportunity to look around our offices, hear from some partners and junior lawyers, and you'll also be able to find out more about 
what is important for us at our firm and what we're looking for. So please stay posted on our social media accounts with more information on registering for this in due course. So uh, yeah, for those in your penultimate year, we would love to see you apply for our summer cart program and we welcome anyone to attend our open days. So as I mentioned before, something I want to chat to you about is our Summer Clark Academy, um, which is a rather unique program we do in comparison to other firms. So essentially this is to be completed over the 12 weeks or so you are here and at the end of the summer and after completing the program you unofficially graduate. Um, the context of the academy falls broadly into um, three categories, that being practical skills, the business of a law firm and client service. Um, the components, well, what we did last year at least included 13 seminars slash webinars roughly once a week where you would hear from someone in the firm about a specific topic. Example of these practical sessions included more generic stuff like reviewing a contract, writing skills, anatomy of an M&A transaction, and then um, some other sessions which are a little different but just as important, like the Buttle Finlay jargon, bus jargon buster session, um, where we'd simply have some junior lawyers breaking down all the confusing law terminology and acronyms. And then another example of a session is... Um, Summer Clark 101 session. Um, another component of the academy is picking up a task from another team outside of your current rotation, which, spe which sparks your interest. Another component is preparing a paper on a topic relevant to the business of Buttle Finlay. And then lastly, experiences like attending court, a client visit, etc. But yeah, unfortunately last year with COVID, we weren't able to go ahead with these. Um, but yeah, that, that was a bit of a summary of that and hopefully this is of interest to you and, and helps to illustrate the level of training and development opportunities that we have for our summer class. Um, cool, so some key dates you may like to be aware of are shown on the screen, which includes when our applications close, when you can expect to be invited for an interview, when our interviews take place, offers another opportunity to attend our open day and then um, when you'd start as a summer clerk. Cool. Well, that brings us to the end. I'm conscious we've run over ever so slightly. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to hear about Buttle Finlay. I hope you found this session valuable and has inspired you to want to um, apply for our summer clerk program. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Um, alternatively, if you want to speak to one of us um, directly offline, um, please give Harry or, not, Harry or I an email. Um, you can find our emails on our career site on our website. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Kapaitira. Great. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, everyone. Good to chat.